one day we got in the hot LZ, if you would, and uh, that was really a terrible day for me and everybody else I know. It was actually Thanksgiving Eve that it happened. Uh, we were on, uh, they called it seek and destroy missions. The spotter planes would see fresh digging or enemy movement or something. They would mark it on a map. Then uh, they would prep the area with artillery and then we would fly in looking for body counts and weapons and food caches and stuff like that. Well, the day it happened, we were supposed to go to five different locations, and we'd made two of them. Uh, we had 10 choppers with six fighting men on each chopper. Uh, we'd made two locations with no trouble or anything, and it was like 11 o'clock, and the uh, captain told us all, said, we're gonna knock off for dinner, so somebody got in trouble and needed our choppers. And I was so hot, and now I didn't even eat my, I took one bite of a pork patty and throwed my lunch away. And uh, then about one o'clock, he said, everybody saddle up, we're going to our next mission. We, we flew in, I think there was five choppers went in first and then five more behind us. And I was in about, I think the second chopper and it was a hot LZ, and I remember there was a gunship beside me just firing all he could fire, and it was just terrible. But we just couldn't believe how much shooting was going on. And uh, we were going into a, a rubber plantation, and uh, all, all hell broke loose. Uh, Roger, we had visual on contact. <laughs> Helicopter about 20 foot off the ground. He's hollering, get out, get out. I never even knew when I hit the ground. I was so scared that I would forget to breathe. And they'd go, <gasps> and, uh, <laughs> oh, I gotta breathe, you know? And they shooting down that elephant grass, it'd fall across my back, and feel like a telephone pole hit on there. There was, there was estimated 2,000 in the wood line, and we flew into it with 60 people. 17 got killed going in. 